I'm Connie Lee, Angioma Alliance President and CEO. In 2002, I felt alone. I had a two-year-old daughter who had already been through three brain surgeries to remove hemorrhaging cavernous angiomas. She was spunky and happy and doing well, but a cloud hung over my enjoyment of her. Will there be another hemorrhage? Will today be the day? I didn't know anyone else, adult or child, with the illness, and I worried that Julia, my daughter, would grow up never knowing anyone who was like her. That was the simple idea behind Angioma Alliance. Let's make a space for affected families to share stories and to learn from each other. In 15 years, the Angioma Alliance community has given Julia and me more than we could have ever imagined. About a year after Angioma Alliance formed, Julia had another hemorrhage, this one deep in her cerebellum. This time, the Angioma Alliance community was there for us, sharing experiences and walking us through the surgery and rehabilitation that followed. A researcher who was a mom herself sent Julia a small stuffed unicorn that arrived on surgery day. Julia held that gift close for years and felt its comfort. We weren't alone, and I remain grateful to you for holding us in your care. As she grew older, Julia wanted to join the neighborhood children riding their bicycles around our cul-de-sac. Almost every sunny day would find Julia, me, and a purple bike struggling to sit, stay upright. Let's do this, I would encourage her. Okay, mommy, I'm ready. Under my breath, I would whisper, please stay up this time. I'm getting too old for this. I held onto her bike and ran. I let go and watched momentum carry her. It was her turn to pedal. One rotation, two rotations, three. It was working until it didn't. Like every other attempt, she listed to the right as her weaker right leg tried to push the pedal down. Her handlebars turned 45 degrees and she toppled with a scream for good measure. Julia, that was wonderful. I think you went farther than ever. Do you want to try again? and try she would, and try, and try. As Dr. Awad put it, we are asking Julia to climb Mount Everest without oxygen. When she was 11, just before Angioma Alliance's 10th anniversary, Julia underwent a spinal fusion to treat scoliosis, the result of her specific genetic mutation, CCM3. Because of complications, the surgery almost took her life. Julia was in the hospital for weeks, and even after discharge, her recovery was long and painful. As horrific as the surgery was, it taught us that nothing is promised. And it led to one of the highlights of our lives so far. The choice to take a five-month drive around the United States during which we visited Angioma Alliance families in every city we could. Julia had the opportunity to meet you, those of you who have few visible effects and those of you who are severely affected by the illness, unable to walk or see or speak. She saw the way your family conducts your life with dignity, with purpose, with a spirit of generosity. You model everyday courage, a lesson we both took to heart. After our trip around the country, it was time to buy Julia a bigger bike that she still couldn't ride and try again. This time, when we visited the bike shop, we found it just inside the front door, big and blue with three wheels and a seat as wide as a house, an adult tricycle, the kind older ladies in Florida ride on their way to Canasta. Are you sure? I asked her. 
I worried that riding a tricycle as a teenager might cause her to be teased and rejected by the kids on the block. Julia didn't blink. We shooed away a preschooler who was using it as a jungle gym and asked the sales lady for a test drive. In the parking lot behind the cycling shop, as my 13-year-old daughter took off without me for the first time in her life, I held my breath and let the tears fall. Julia's face beamed with pride. She had arrived. When we unloaded the bike from the car at home, her best friend ran over and drooled over the big white wire basket on the back and the old-fashioned bell. When Julia rode in the cul-de-sac, the adult neighbors lined the street, cheering, raising their glasses, and expressing appropriate amounts of envy. The third wheel was metaphor, and we all glimpsed her future. Her invisible struggles and potentially stigmatizing solutions had a tangible representation, the tricycle, and we were humbled by her courage. The courage that she had learned from Angioma Alliance families like yours. My goal with Julia is not necessarily to prepare her to live an independent life. She may not have that luxury. My goal is to do to encourage her to develop the skills and flexibility to figure out how to make the best of any life the cards deal her, to accept the third wheel with grace, to give back when she's able, and to never let an opportunity for community pass her by. At the 15-year mark, Angioma Alliance is still giving back to me. Now it's teaching me to run marathons. I've always been a sprinter, overcoming obstacles as needed. A juggernaut, I'm told. I've let out some frustration over the years about the pace of CCM science. However, our dedicated researchers have taught me the value of building a solid foundation of basic science on which to launch treatments. They have welcomed me into their labs and let me look in their microscopes. They've trusted me with their secrets. They place face, faith in the power of Angioma Alliance to accelerate progress with our approach of building shared resources. In 2002, when we began, there was only one gene identified, a disjointed research community and little understanding. In 2017, we have eight treatments preparing for trials with more on the way. We have a growing research community that now collaborates to bring each lab's strengths to bear. Angioma Alliance is central to this progress and we're humbled to receive your support of our often unconventional efforts. I promise you they're working. I'm excited about the next 15 years. We will all be asked to participate. I feel up to the challenge and I hope you do too. Where there once was no one, there are now thousands and thousands of connected families around the globe. We can nurture each other and we can find a cure. I still have much to learn from you, and I would love to spend more face-to-face -face time meeting you in coffee shops or at events. Your story inspires me and motivates everything that Angioma Alliance strives to accomplish. Brains shouldn't bleed. I feel confident that in 15 years or less, they won't.